music. We're opening with a wonderful suite that members of the orchestra brought to my attention. This is an animated film called How to Train Your Dragon. There are three actual uh, uh, movies in the series. A wonderful score by John Powell, and we're, we're going to demonstrate three of those tonight uh, with photographs throughout the entire program to sort of give you a sense of the atmosphere and the theme that's going on with the music. Um, I'm very excited. I actually watched uh, two of these movies. I have yet to see the third installment. I'm really excited to see a much older character. It sort of follows his um, path from young boy to uh, adolescence uh, into adult, young, young adulthood. So it's a great uh, set of movies and a great theme about a young man who sort of comes into his own and um, overcomes the disappointment of a father to really be a sort of uh, champion for the environment. So I won't, I won't say more than that. Uh, you'll hear three of the main themes of this. Uh, I'm very excited to uh, give you this wonderful music tonight. Um, enjoy How to Train Your Dragon.
We'll be playing three of the planets Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, accompanied by beautiful photographs. Um, each one, Gustav Holtz, the English composer, tried to characterize what the mythology of each planet sort of meant. You know, we get um, the days of our week from, from some of these planets and um, enjoyed the very characteristic and powerful vision that Holtz had for these three planets. Enjoy. You'll also note where John Williams gets some of his ideas from for his music. Thank you. 
So Star Wars is the reason I became a pianist. I was nine years old when Star Wars came out in 77, and like many young kids around the country, I waited in line for hours to get tickets. And I did, and we were all blown away. So I've been a Star Wars fan since then. When my mother forced me to play the piano to keep me out of baseball hell, she would often say I was one season away from chewing tobacco. <laughs> doing whatever. So she got the local church organist to come to our house and give me lessons. Well, I didn't really want to play, but she brought a sheet music of Star Wars, and as a result, she said, I, I wanted to play it, so I reached for it. She pulled it away, and she said, okay, you can have it when you finish all the music books, and I did, and uh, I was hooked. So I have Mrs. Baird to thank for, for that motivation. I've been working with student conductors for the last few years of this program, and although COVID interrupted so much, we were able to bounce back very rapidly and that's why you have this incredible orchestra in front of you, 60 plus students. And these young conductors, of, yeah. <laughs> Last year's conductor has actually decided, and he may be listening now, I won't name him by name, but he knows who he is, has actually decided to possibly pursue orchestral conducting as uh, a career early in his life before maybe going on to other things or going on to conduct in the New York Phil, you never know. So this is a very rich program and I'm happy to introduce to you um, the student conductor for this year, Joanne Du, who is a senior and going on to wonderful things after graduating from Bowdoin. Uh, she's worked with me um, very diligently and she is going to conduct the opening of Star Wars. Um, and then I'm going to take over, so you'll see some logistics happening up here. So please give a warm welcome to senior Joanne Du. Oh my god, I think it's Luke Skywalker. <laughs> 